<laughs> I think this is one of the best shows I've ever, ever been at. They don't allow cameras in the hospital. I'm still in the hospital. We'll worry about that later. <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I said you had to be on Body Mind TV. Now he's on it. Are you filming? Yes. You filming right This is fucking... Thad. This is Thad. He came over to drink some Jaeger with me. Jaeger. Fuck yeah. It's awesome. We're pretty much, let's see. Bottle's pretty much gone, so I think mission's pretty much accomplished. Also, Pepsi throwback. Oh, fuck yeah. That's Real sugar. Shit. No high fructose. No high fructose. So, uh, I'm Adam. I'm Thad. You're watching Body Mod TV. I'm in Borders, killing time waiting for a movie to start next door. And I'm in the self help section because that's where you find a lot of the, uh, like NLP type material books. Um, and I just found this. No problem. There's books on tattoos here. And I'm going to do a review right now of a book called Modern Tribal Tattoo Designs by Laura S. Irish. This book, check it out. It's like a bunch of weird black tribal designs, nice armbands, tramp stamps, and ooh, circles. Um, if I were to recommend this book to anybody, it would be to somebody that I hate, and I want to have really shitty tattoos. So, I'd stay away from that book. The other one, though, this Mammoth Book of Tattoos by Lyle Hardy. This one's pretty cool, though. It's got a lot of really good artists in it, a lot of good work. Some big names. Um, so this is a book that I would recommend. This one's pretty good, so if you're looking to find some new tattoo artists, the Mammoth Book of Tattoos by Lowell Hardy. So I have I found a couple more books over here on tattoo stuff, so we're going to go over those. I'm going to hand off the camera, though, this way I can show you some more stuff. So the first one here is Vintage Tattoos by Carol Clerk. So let's see what's in here. This looks like a bunch of old school, traditional sailor tattoos and stuff. Uh, pretty cool. Also looks like there's a, there's a lot of written words, so that's nice. So it probably goes into about the history, um, some of the old names. Looks like we got a lot of pictures of people back then that were getting the tattoos or doing the tattoos. Um, if you're into vintage tattoos, this one looks pretty cool. Might want to check it out. It runs twenty nine ninety five. It's a border, so you can probably get it cheaper on Amazon. Uh, right next to that, we got the tattoo encyclopedia, a guide to choosing your tattoo. Let's see what this will help. This will help us. Be Blood. Blood is life itself. Stick mud on my... Okay, this is just retarded. It's literally an encyclopedia of things that people get tattooed. This should not help you decide what to get tattooed. So, this thing runs $16.95. I think it's a horrible idea. Do not pick this up. Here's one. Tattoo Delirium. It's got a nice plastic wrapper on it so we can't actually see what it is. Okay. Uh huh. This is some good work in here. Some, it's more art than tattoo, but the, so I'd say it's about 50 50. It's pretty cool. There's some, there's some good artwork, good artists, some good names, good quality stock. <coughs> good printing is okay. So, Tattoo Delirium, even a Migune, maybe, by Collins Design. How much does this bad boy run for? Oh, we tore the price tag off. Nope. twenty nine ninety nine. Not too shabby. So, that's a quick review with Body Mod TV. I'm Adam. Take it easy.